Hello, Daz Studio enthusiasts. This is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you back to my tutorial series. First of all, I want to say happy holidays out there to everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday, no matter which one you're celebrating. And in this festive season, I thought I would talk a little bit about using Daz Studio to make money. We always want to make money. How do I make money using Daz Studio? Now, I have to say that I've been doing this a long time, and Daz Studio has pretty much become a second job for me. I actually make a decent amount of revenue every year with my comics and Daz Studio. So I thought it might be cool to just give you some ideas and let you know what I did to actually start using CGI and Daz Studio to make profit. So the first thing that you're going to have to do once you have some artwork done, is find a platform to post on. Now, there are many choices, and I have struggled with this myself some. You can do a search, and that's exactly what I did. I want to say right off the bat that I'm not promoting nor sponsored by any of these platforms. I just want to kind of give you a rundown of some options. So I just uh, searched... And I came up with this 30 best websites every artist should know. And if you scroll through here, some of these are ones that I'm familiar with. Other ones I haven't really looked at. But make sure you do a search and find the appropriate platform to post on. This one, DeviantArt, is pretty popular. And you can join, log in, and then start posting your artwork for people to see. Obviously, another option is Pinterest. Again, you just join it and start posting your work. One of the more popular ones is Patreon. I had a Patreon account for a long time, and then they banned me because they don't do adult content. That's one thing that you've got to be careful of, is a lot of these different platforms do not allow any adult content. If you're interested in adult content sites, I have made a video on BitChute. Actually, my first BitChute video in a long time, but I suggest that you run over there if you want to see some adult options, and I will give them to you over there because YouTube does not like that. But once you find a platform that you are interested in, you just need to start posting. So make sure you read the terms, make sure you know what you can post and what you can't post, and then just start posting a variety of different images. So I started out this way. I actually started just posting on free platforms and I kind of got the word out that I am an artist using Daz Studio and if you're interested in my artwork hit me up and that's how I got started. Now the second thing that you're going to need to do is once you have that platform you've just got to start advertising. Get on multiple platforms if you can and just advertise your work. Put links in the description Put links on your pictures, put your name on your pictures, and advertise. It's important to create a good profile, so you want things like your name, links to other sites that you're using, emails so that people can get in contact with you. The hardest part is just this networking to try and get the word out that you are making content. Don't be afraid at first to just post a lot of different content. What you need to do is get recognized somehow. Now, for me, I kind of fit this niche that I started doing in adult content. And uh, I have some real loyal followers now where as soon as I get a comic 
finished, they are right on top of it, ready to purchase it. And so had to build that up, but now I've got this kind of network where I can actually post and then have people immediately respond. Now, once I started selling comics, I sell them by sending the comic through email. So then I get a collection of client emails. And then anytime I release a new catalog or anytime I release a new comic, I can send out a message to all my clients to tell them that there is new work available. And that's gotten a really positive response. Make sure if you do this, though, that you keep everything confidential. Don't share information or post information. You really need to keep all of this confidential. But it's really worked out well for me, and it's a great way for me to advertise. Kind of word of mouth. I also primarily focus on my personal page, which is a Subscribestar account. And Subscribestar is a way to set up your own page, post things, advertise. I actually use the Subscribestar adult site. I've never gone into the basic Subscribestar site, but I've had great success with Subscribestar adult. And I have a set of patrons that pay monthly and this generates hundreds of dollars of revenue for me every month. And I know that it's a base that I'm always going to get at the end of the month on top of any extra comics that are purchased or commissions that I do where I'm getting more revenue. Every time I release something new, I post it here on Subscribestar. And so this has been really the, the heart of my Daz Studio business is setting up this account and then using it as a platform to post what I'm doing, to advertise, and also to give discounts. What I've done is I've made a catalog of comics and I'm over 120 comics now that I've actually created and I sell them on Subscribestar. So not only are people subscribing and paying a monthly fee, but they're also seeing all of the work that I'm doing where they can come in and purchase the comic itself. So I'm advertising on this exclusively and it has really paid off wonderfully. Very satisfied with Subscribestar and I highly recommend it. Number three is to create what you enjoy. I think this is really important. And uh, I started off with an interest in sci-fi because I saw a bunch of just sort of half-assed work and I thought I can do better than this. And so that's how I started Daz uh, Studio actually. I didn't like the amateurism. I didn't like the censored pictures. And I really thought I could do better. And uh, you know, if you if you don't like what you're doing, you're not gonna enjoy doing it and you're not going to make new content that others can see and then you won't be able to sell anything. So it's really important to make sure that you're creating things that you enjoy. Finding a niche of content that you like is gonna also help you get and establish a base of supporters like I did. I just think it's really important to create the kind of artwork that you're going to enjoy. I really like Milica, kinda have a thing for her, as you probably have guessed. So I use her in a lot of advertising and I enjoy making comics with her. I don't actually use her very much for my comics, but sometimes commissions come up in things where I use her. It's just really important to enjoy what you're doing. Okay, number four on my list is when you decide that you're gonna try and make a little business out of this Daz Studio adventure, don't be afraid to spend a little money. I know the old cliche, you have to spend money to make money. In this case, it's actually true. So for example, if I had a client that wanted me to set up a scene like what you're looking at here with Milica and Christmas time, if I don't have these props, I'm gonna go out and find them. I might have to spend a little bit of money to get the scene set up the way that the client wants. I do believe you need to try and please the client and give them what they want to an extent don't overdo it. 
your spending can't obviously go above your revenue, but you're going to have to get some new props, maybe things like Mesh Grabber and some of the other assets, some of the other scripts that Daz Studio offers that I've shown you over the course of all my videos. And, you know, eventually you may want to get a new computer. That's what I have done. I built up my little business here. I worked at it. I started selling comics. I was making pretty decent revenue. And so that's when I decided I needed to really upgrade because the computer I was using was very slow. And so I bought a new computer. And ever since I bought this new computer, I've upgraded it several times with a new hard drive, a new graphics card, and more RAM. And it's really changed my Daz Studio life. I'm not saying that you have to have an awesome computer to do this, but once you do have that new computer, it really does change how you can use Daz Studio. All right, number five is just to pay attention to details. And when you create a picture or a comic, when you pay attention to the details, this is what separates us from AI. AI is getting good. It's getting really good in some aspects, and we all know that, but it's not replacing Daz Studio. We still get the terrible six fingers and the wonky eyes and the third arm growing out of the character's back, and it just cannot create that scene that we really have in our minds. And I think that's why Daz Studio is so unique, is that we can create exactly what we want. So paying attention to things like poke through with your clothes or posing hair correctly or making sure that your eyes of your character are positioned the way that you want, making sure that they are on the floor and the lighting is good. It really does outclass AI in every respect. So we have to do Daz Studio good by having high standards and paying attention to those little details. All right, and the sixth thing, I know you've probably already heard this, but sex sells. I'm sorry, it's just our society, and I am actually not ashamed that I have made quite a bit of money using this content. Not only is it fun to create, but you can stretch the limits of your content because they're not real. As much as I love Milica, she's not real. So I can create a lot of fantasy type comics, sci-fi comics, things like that, that we just don't find in other adult content. And this really has helped me, I have to admit, sell. And I totally get it if you're a little sensitive to that kind of thing. But I have sold everything from vanilla all the way up to extreme hardcore. And it has really been lucrative for me to have an open mind and post unique content. Okay, so I hope this has given you some ideas. If you've been playing around with Daz Studio, trying to sell it, I know I haven't included everything. There's a whole niche out there for gamers and things like that, and you can use Daz Studio for that kind of revenue as well, which is totally awesome. I highly recommend it. I have been propositioned by some people asking if I would be willing to create some online things with games and that kind of stuff, and I haven't done that just because it takes a lot of time and a lot of dedication. And since this is my second or even third job, I don't have the time to do those kind of things, but keep that kind of stuff open as well. And uh, in 2026, you may be able to start making a little extra money with your Daz Studio hobby. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, like, comment, and check out the BitChute shoot video. It's going to go into a little more depth with the adult content, and I've got some ideas for you there. And until next time, have a wonderful night. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, take care, and happy rendering.